Hi guys, welcome another video of EVNG VMware Workstation. Now in this one, we will import our Cisco router and switch images which can be downloaded from this link. I will provide this link into the description and I have those files here already downloaded. I can show you and so this these are our images and we will put these images in our EVNG okay I have EVNG running now the first tool that you will need is the win SCP which is the FTP uh, SFTP software so you will need this to install uh, I don't go into depth where and how you can install so you can install this one and I have this file here and I will um, so root is the username and this is my host name which is um, for the EVNG you can see it here and I will remote into this so log in and I will update it yeah so my password okay so now i'm already there and this is our main folder is called root okay and these are our images so first i will start with the cisco router and cisco router path is this one which i will provide again into the detail as well so opt unit lab wrappers and um sorry so these are the permission and the location is opt unit lab add-ons and dynamaps so opt we will go scroll it down so from root you select on the root opt unit lab and add-ons dynamaps and here we will update these two images so i will copy and simply drag and drop So once these images are here, then we need to allow permissions. So for permissions, you guys need another tool called Putty because Putty will allow copy paste, but here it does not allow copy paste. So you have to basically type in, in the VMware workstation. So Putty is the right tool which we can use. Um, and here I can use root. 192.168.152.133 and password I have typed in my password now I'm already here now I need to go in this location and allow this permission okay so once I'm there I will copy and paste this permission in the link in uh, and you can download from there once you allow this permissions you would be able to see straight away router in our evng so i will remote into that so 192.168.152.133 okay admin okay so we are, i'm already in the in the lab and when i click on the node and scroll it down you can see here cisco ios 365 375 in the dynamics and this is the p image whatever the image you suit but this is the router and router image looks fine sorry router image looks fine and so these are the images that we actually imported into that this is the ram if you want to choose different it's up to you and whatever the configuration you choose but i will straight away give it and save and click start okay so it says started now you can see the icon has changed into blue and open ssh telnet yeah that's fine so our router is started So I will say no and would you like to enter the installation configuration? No. 
it's fine. In and host name. Okay, country D. Host name is route one. Okay, and this straight away changed to router one. Okay, and now we will go on to the um, adding Cisco switches. Okay. So I will go on to the Win SCP and for the location that will be a different location. So for the switches, I need to put this location, okay, add-ons. So unit lab, add-ons, IO and bin. So unit lab, add-ons, I will and bin. And in this one. I will copy the images of the router. So just whatever I have here, I will just copy paste, call solid drag and draw. So everything is copied here. Now I will go again on our ENG and let's see if node is showing. So Cisco, there you go. Cisco IOL and this is our L2 switch, enterprise switch. I will give a go with the, because the switch, so I will give a switch picture. So switch PNG, okay. Ethernet port groups four in each. So I will say, and this will be okay. So now, so this is our switch. Okay, Let's start. Now you see, the switch has changed the icon into the blue. Start again. So. Open. Network error refused. Just we just giving us error. I think I need to allow it to permission. So just give me a second. So it seems like there's an issue with the permissions. So, and to fix this, in order to fix this, we need to launch our G and the root 192.168.152.133 password. Let's typo. Let me try again. Okay. So now these are the permissions that we need to allow. I will copy paste into this. So for switch, we have this location. So copy this and paste it. Okay. And you just copy and paste it. Okay. So we can see it's here. These files are there. Okay. Now, just in case, allow this permission as well. Okay, and allow this net map as well and export this. Okay, and this one, the last one, LD library. So from there, you just copy it. Okay, and once you copy this and just press the tab here. Okay, so once you press the tab, you would be able to see it's all files are here. Once you see it, we are okay. Press enter, that's it. Now you can go back again in your search and start it. So we should be grown now. And once I open it, it is opening. And we just wait for it. 
Okay, so now switch is on. Enable config P and host name is switch or you just say evng switch. Okay, sorry, uh, evng switch. So there you go, that's your name, and that's it. So we are done and uh, show and uh, yeah. You run in config. Uh, sorry. Uh, so now I just need to see how many interfaces are here. And this is all the basic configuration is there. Okay. I'm not going into the detail in this video. So this is how you see we have added a switch and a router. In the next video, we will start working with um, some configuration and with the one, one of the lab to how to install 40 gate firewall. And we will start working with the firewall and some with the Windows computers and server as well. Okay, so we will create a full enterprise network here in this video. Depend again how many resources you have, but if you can build a system where you have more resources, so you can have a full image um, of the enterprise, how a system works um, from the networking and the administration perspective. Thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and do follow so you can see more videos and some more information about the networking and the administration. Thank you guys.